The Friday following the death of George Floyd, we were on a call at 8.30 a.m. talking about business best practices, sales, marketing, tactics, et cetera. And in one of those powerful moments of my life, Stella came on the phone and in a very impassioned way said, how can you guys be talking about sales and marketing best practices given what's going on in the world around us? And it led us to go off and think on, she's completely right. We have all this privilege in our lives and we don't have to worry about things that other entrepreneurs do. This group is made up of very credentialed folks from, you know, former executives to people that have ran other businesses to folks with advanced degrees. And we all know that even with all those credentials, it's still hard to get a business up and running. And if on top of that, there's advantages to some entrepreneurs where they get $20,000 to give their idea a shot. And if you're from another neighborhood, maybe in Inglewood or Southside, you do not get the opportunity. It is impossible to launch a business. I think ultimately what we're getting at is that this country had hundreds of years of racial inequality, oppression, racism that has hindered and limited many Black folks from having the generational wealth and the ability to pour into their friends and family who are starting companies. So there's this term in tech, uh, friends and family, which are the investors at the early stage of a startup. But this term friends and family is such a term of privilege and so um, when you don't have um, that community, that access, you cannot start your company. The system is broken. And basically we need the people to come together and join in and solve this. We're building a community in Chicago where anyone from the, the city comes together to be the friends and family capital to launch these brilliant ideas. You're investing in your community, you're investing in your neighborhood. And as the startups we invest and succeed, the beauty of being an evergreen fund is that the equity that we do take stays within the fund. So any of the you know financial gain that is seen from any of these startups is re all reinvested in the fund so we can then further be investing in more companies to really create such a long-term difference. We've also redesigned the evaluation process to remove the racial bias that often exists in the VC world. We don't look at the university you went to or your total revenue. We focus our evaluation on non-traditional dimensions that we've learned from experience leads to lasting business success. Our flag has four stars, each representing a significant moment in Chicago's history. And we intend to create a fifth star on that flag that represents, um, you know, social justice, um, racial equity throughout, you know, all, all spaces. And it's our role as fifth star funds to take that first step in the entrepreneurial landscape um, and hopefully allow that to bleed into, you know, the city as a whole. That was That's, awesome. That was great. <laughs> yeah.